leaders have agreed on a new round of sanctions against Russia, but they won't be implemented straight away. The EU will first assess whether the ceasefire between the government and militias in Ukraine is holding before making a final decision. Peter Oliver has the details. What we're going to see is them, these kick into play, but it has been said by um, senior EU officials that these sanctions could be stopped altogether um, should moves be made to continue the ceasefire in east of Ukraine. The EU have also said, though, that they could ramp up even more further sanctions should that peace um, if that, that temporary peace there collapsed. But it is a sign from them that they um, are willing to cancel these sanctions against Russia should, um, should peace reign in that part of eastern Ukraine. Now, um, in t we now have to wait to see, though, to see what type of reaction Russia will make to these new, um, these new sanctions. These sanctions, about just to fill you in quickly on what they are, they're going to be targeting the energy sector, also um, more... Um, more names added to the list of travel bans and asset freezes. Now, speaking on Monday morning, uh, Russian Prime Minister uh, Dmitry Medvedev had said that should um, more sanctions be placed on Russia, then Russia would respond, suggesting that one of the things they could be looking to do would be to ban EU airlines from flying over Russian airspace. Now, potentially, that could have huge problems for European carriers. We heard from Lufthansa Tonza, the big German airline, they said that a, a three-month ban on not being able to use uh, Russian airspace could end up costing them one billion euros. So we'll be waiting to see what the reactions are. It does seem, though, we have this new round of sanctions and all eyes looking on that ceasefire in eastern Ukraine. If it holds, then these sanctions could be revoked. Economist Robert Olds of the Bruges Group think tank believes it was not sanctions that helped bring about the ceasefire. I'm somewhat surprised that given that a ceasefire of sorts is already in place in Ukraine, that the European Union has chosen to place these sanctions upon Russia. But it does seem that there is a division within the European Union at this moment, and some have been uh, less willing to place sanctions upon, upon Russia. Well, the whole history of sanctions is that they very rarely uh, have any effect. The country that it's being opposed, uh, imposed upon, the fact is, is that it wasn't sanctions which have changed the situation. It's that the Ukrainian army was suffering the military defeats. And so the inevitable situation came about where it had to agree to a ceasefire. And hopefully this one will indeed stick, because other times there's been occasions where he's accepted a ceasefire, but of course has broken that trying to push a military advantage, but that's now turned against him. So that's what's really changed. It's not the sanctions have had any effect whatsoever.